Hello, this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is a personal prophecy for Linda and um, as I was looking at my head there um, in the background it just seems like there's um, my head is expanded and it looks like um, there's uh, glory over my head and uh, it just looks really weird to me and uh, um, 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 anyway sorry I had a message um, and I, I feel that it's gone now or no it's still there um, I feel that you're going to have visions that's it, I'm sort of seeing like a vision behind me it's like an angel is standing behind me and I feel uh, I've seen a physical um, manifestation of something that you're going to experience spiritually I, I feel um, if you're not already a seer that God is going to open up um, your spiritual uh, eyes and um, you're going to experience visions, uh, seeing angels, seeing Jesus, seeing saints from heaven, uh, seeing the heavenlies, going to heaven. Um, I, I, I feel that the Lord's going to use you mightily in prophecy and um, you, you're going to see pictures and explain pictures and the storyboard of a picture in prophecy which is really powerful and um, I feel that um, you've got this um, deep understanding of um, of the Lord uh, uh, I sometimes I see things and I can explain pictures sometimes I just feel things and then sometimes I see visions of someone's future and I'm just feeling uh, at the moment I'm feeling that um, that scripture that says deep call of unto deep I feel that um, you feel things really deeply and you really um, you really deeply connected to uh, the mercy and the compassion of God um, you you're someone who seeks uh, out uh, justice in this world and you want to see justice done and uh, you're filled with compassion and mercy and you you just want all the crying to stop and um, I feel that you understand what it is to be a light on a hill and you understand uh, that we can't be hiding our light under a lamp uh, under a bushel um, I feel that you understand what it is to be salt and flavor and preservative to this world um, I feel that you've got uh, a tremendous understanding of everything t Jesus taught and stood for uh, he seems to be um, a very close and dear friend of yours and um, I don't know you I just I've seen your name around but um, you really are a really deep you know Jesus on a really deep and intimate way and um, like I know him that way and it's really um, it's a real pleasure it makes me really um, happy and full of joy to meet someone who knows my Jesus like me and um, I find it very rare actually um, to find a contemporary who who knows uh, you really know loneliness you know um, misunderstood and rejection and um, just deep loneliness um, uh, not a sense of not being able to connect uh, with people on this deep level because when you're flowing in the anointing and you're flowing in revelation and God's uh, showing you things that he doesn't show to most Christians it makes you more lonely because you've got no one to talk to and no one to share those things with so you 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 know me on Facebook and um, 
I encourage you to uh, write to me in messages. I, I do have uh, good conversations with people on Facebook chat and uh, it would be a real pleasure to uh, hear some of your revelations that you can't share with people because I'm sure I've got the capacity to uh, handle and even add to the revelations that you've got possibly. Um, it's so good um, to meet you. I'm so overjoyed. Uh, you, you're very um, persistent. Um, I've just seen a picture of a woodpecker and it's just going to peck, 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 peck and it's like that's your persistence. You just, you just peck at things and I don't know what woodpeckers do. Do they make a hole in something? You know, do, do they keep on pecking? I don't know why they keep on hitting their nose against something. I'm not from that country. I don't think we got them in Australia. But whatever it is, I think it stands for persistence and determination. And um, I, you're really determined. You know, someone who's got patience, endurance, childlike faith and humility can do anything. With the childlike faith which you have, um, you can believe for the impossible, a belief for something that's not scripturally supported. Um, with humility, you recognise that it's all you recognise that it's all God and um, not you, and um, you get out of the way and let God move rather than you doing things. So. Humility is a tremendous uh, uh, platform for um, God to do mighty things and because you've got the childlike faith, you can believe for the impossible. With the humility, you can be used to do the impossible and not steal the glory of the Lord. Um, you're very teachable and um, you, um, you, interesting enough, you, you like people's books and DVDs uh, or YouTube videos or whatever you watch um, but honestly you prefer revelation direct from the Lord um, you know it's like it's like most of the stuff out there isn't deep enough for you um, there's not enough revelation in it uh, and um, so you're on this uh, secret journey with the Lord and you've just got this um, almost um, I've only read Song of Songs once you've got this Song of Songs relationship with Jesus and it truly is beautiful to behold and to see and to feel in you and um, I feel uh, I just got the phrase, nothing is impossible. Um, uh, it's, uh, um, I have to look it up because um, I, I really love the scripture but I can't quote it yet. I'm, I'm coming back to this scripture and um, it seems like every second prophecy I'm coming back to this scripture but um, and I still can't even find the book. Um, I'm hopeless. I um, was taught legalism for most of my life and um, I was rescued by a couple of um, grace teachers. Then I got stuck into learning the grace of the Lord to set myself free. And then I, um, I started hearing teaching from people who are moving in extreme grace and um, and that was out, out balanced and I got so sick and tired of the fact that I'd been lied to with legalism by Satan and and I knew hundreds of verses to back up my legalistic feelings and then I got lied to by the grace teachers who were backing up everything with scripture that I stopped reading my Bible for three to four years. I just refused to read the Word of God because I was sick and tired of seeing scriptures that were 
are quoted and used to give me misteaching. You know, it seems that um, people can use the Bible to say anything. But um, Ephesians 3.20 Now to him who is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the power that works in us. Um, I, I had a prophecy over my life that said just as Billy Graham was known throughout the nation so shall your name be. And my name's starting to get a bit of a reputation now but Billy Graham in his time was the biggest evangelist in the world so that's where I'm headed and I've got faith that I'm going to head that way so that's something I think well this scripture says that God's going to do exceedingly and abundantly more than I can think so I'm going to do more um, I'm going to do more and achieve more than what Billy did. And um, I, I come to that scripture because the Lord led me to that scripture. But um, you, um, you just can't dream big enough. You don't dream big enough. And you've got big dreams. And you've been told things. You're very... Um, you're a very outgoing and loving person and you flow uh, in, the, in the mind of Christ and the love of Christ and the heart of the Father. Very loving and uh, outstanding individual to total strangers and everyone you know you love and they, they loved and they actually find uh, Jesus in you, that, that you're like a human touchstone for Jesus on earth. And um, but um, you're very private about what you're called to and the capacity and where you're headed, and you don't share it with many people because, to be honest, most people wouldn't believe it. Um, they they think they know you, and I don't know if you've got one person in the world that you can share your revelations with. So. Um, I'm open to be your friend on Facebook and you uh, chat to me and share your revelations and um, see if I can understand them <laughs> and uh, I'll share some of mine with you and um, so we've got to believe that verse everything that we can think of if we can think it God's going to do exceedingly and abundantly more and so think about that for a little while meditate on that I I encourage you to meditate on Ephesians 3.20 for a month just let it soak into you according to the power that works within us so the Holy Spirit's going to do all of it and um, I found I've, I've uh, just started a new teaching on the prophetic and um, just um, you know the last the last chapter, the last video was 37 minutes and uh, I thought 20 minutes was fairly long and it went for 37. It, the Holy Spirit, if you just let the Holy Spirit go, he's just got so much to say and he's got so much wisdom, why would we get in the way? Why would we want to use our intellect? So um, I, I just know that uh, God's going to do mighty things through you and um, I just um, get the phrase anything is possible and um, I don't know I, I can see it doesn't really interest me traveling to stars and going to planets um, there's, there's this famous guy that uh, everyone uh, looks up to and uh, he's talking about creating galaxies and doing this doesn't interest me people interest me and um, and but you could go to Mars and sit on Mars in the flesh not just in a vision but your flesh body could go there and um, you know God could supernaturally uh, you know give you oxygen and stuff there's there's nothing that's impossible for you to do you've got so much capacity and there's so much in you and um, 
and you can be a little person or you can be a big person and um, so um, he's not giving me specifics about your future because you already know your future and to be honest um, if you shared it with most people um, they'd laugh at you and mock you and you've had a lot of mocking you've had a lot of rejection you've had a lot of so-called friends turn on you uh, once again you've uh, let people close to you in your loneliness and uh, they've turned on you because they've had Jezebel spirit um, so um, I hope uh, this has blessed you and I uh, hope you can write me some feedback and um, I pray uh, for your finances uh, that you said you'd love to bless me more and um, I pray for a, a tenfold return on this money that you sowed to me in the next month and, and that $200 uh, would come to you unexpectedly from an unexpected source and uh, that would give you another $20 to sow to me um, so um, I've never prayed for finances for someone before especially never put a date on it and so I just felt led to do that because um, it's uh, you know I, I'm just publishing a book um, great great cloud of witnesses speak and it's 430 page book of the saints being interviewed by me and it's just an exquisite book and I think the total book will cost about sixteen hundred dollars for me um, uh, on no, about two thousand Australian dollars and you know I gladly spend that two thousand Australian dollars just to lead one new age person to the Lord I've just got um, just such a heart for giving and serving the Lord and you've got that heart too you're just an exquisite individual and um, so I pray that this has encouraged you um, it's good to be seen it's good to uh, have someone actually see you for who you are and see the potential in you and so I pray that this has encouraged you and that you can write me some feedback. God bless.